especially at last minute notice. It's encouraging to see all of these local Tea Party leaders and activists here in support of Sandy Adams. I'm Amy Kramer, I'm chairman of Tea Party Express, and I'm back here today in Orlando because of some shenanigans that have been going on in this campaign on the behalf of Congressman Micah over the past week. And apparently, some of his operatives have called into question the Tea Party Express endorsement and said that Tea Party Express did not endorse Sandy Adams, that I endorse Sandy Adams on my own. And there's nothing further from the truth. Tea Party Express endorsed Sandy Adams one week ago today. I'm a, I am the chairman of Tea Party Express, and I speak on behalf of Tea Party Express. And I support Sandy Adams too, but Tea Party Express has endorsed and supported Sandy Adams. She has our support and we have only endorsed in three congressional primaries across the country. So I'm happy to be back here in support of Sandy. I think it's really important. What has been going on over the past week is unacceptable. And as one of the original founders of the Tea Party movement, along with these people that are standing up here with me, we are stewards of the movement and it, is, it falls upon us to protect this movement. And the movement has become very prominent. We've become a very powerful movement. We've changed the landscape of Washington, D.C. We've changed the political landscape of state houses across the country. And when somebody takes advantage of the Tea Party name or uses our name when they shouldn't, it falls upon us to stand up and to call them out on it. And that's why we're here today. Number one, to say that we support Sandy Adams because she is the true fiscal conservative who will stand for the people and work for the people and not fall in line in Washington, D.C. and not just go along to get along. And that's why she has so much support here with all of these people standing here with me and others that are sitting out here. The second reason I'm here is because this mailer went out last week and it indicates or portrays that Congressman Micah has the support of the Tea Party movement. And he does not. This is a fake political party that sent this mailer and on it, there are pictures here, pictures of two people that are deceased even. It's not acceptable. We are not going to let these kind of shenanigans go on. This is trickery. Amen. And we the people know the difference. And it's up to us to stand up and work for the candidates we believe in and call the people that are trying to take advantage of the Tea Party movement, call them out. This smacks of desperation. This is phony baloney. And it is not representative of these Tea Party leaders or this Tea Party movement in Central Florida or the state of Florida. So I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to support Sandy. I'm happy to stand with all these activists here and these leaders. This has happened before up in New York where the Democrats got involved and put a candidate in that they claimed was Tea Party. We're not going to stand for it. We the people know what this Tea Party movement's about. You can't just go out there and use the name Tea Party when it suits you. You have to stand on those principles and values. And I'm sorry, but Congressman John Micah doesn't even come close to being Tea Party. Sandy Adams is a t true Tea Party conservative in this race, and that's why she has so much support. And now I'm going to bring forward Kathy Gibson, who is on the executive committee, committee of the Florida Alliance, and she's going to speak more specifically about what's going on here in the state of Florida with this mailer and the people behind this mailer. Thank you, Amy. Um, as a member of the executive board for the Florida Alliance and the co-founder of the Eastern Orlando Tea Party, and I associate with these good people all the time, uh, we had this fight in 2010 when the real Florida Tea Party was formed to confuse voters. And um, it didn't work then because we have very good, astute supporters in this community that really do their homework. So when they came out and said that, that the real Tea Party had endorsed John Micah, all we could say was who, what, where, and how, because we weren't informed. 
Um, there was a lunch meeting where Congressman Micah did um, ask us for his support. And um, at that time, he also called the freshman class um, amateur hour, still finding their way to the bathroom. It did not make any of us happy. And I believe if you told the people in this room, you will find that we are not standing with Congressman Micah. Even my five-year-old grandson is smart enough to know, and he told me this morning, that he wants President Obama and Congressman Micah to quit spending his money because <laughs> he's $30,000 in debt and his three-month-old sister is $30,000 in debt because of the overspending. I have a, a statement from the Florida Alliance. I have a list of those that have signed on, and I can give that to you later, but it says, it was recently announced that Doug Getzlow, as the founder of the Real Tea Party, has endorsed John Micah in House District 7. We, as grassroots leaders of the Tea Party movement in Florida, do not consider Mr. Getzlow our leader, nor does he speak for us. To the contrary, Mr. Getzlow is the leader of a group with close ties to the Democrat, former Congressman Alan Grayson, and he is um, a gentleman who recently served a 15-month prison term for failure to file tax returns. We, the true grassroots Tea Party leaders, do not support Mr. Getzlow's endorsement of Mr. Micah. I can tell you that um, as one of the leaders of the Eastern Orlando Tea Party, that we wholeheartedly support Sandy Adams. We are for fiscal conservative values, family values, and we want to see our government and our country come back to its grassroots, to our founders. Um, Tom, do you want to say anything? I will turn over here for just a moment, and if you want a list of uh, who signed on, I will be happy to tell you about it. Thank you. I'm Todd Cotella. I've been following the Tea Party movement here since uh, 2009, when it started at Lake Eola. Uh, I was a uh, lifelong Republican that was throwing things at the television and, as I was hearing all the absurd things I was hearing. And uh, uh, that motivated me, activated me, got me off the couch, and got me started uh, as an activist and uh, taking action to save our nation. And I appreciate all the efforts that uh, the various Tea Party entities, the various Tea Party leaders have made uh, in this particular area, especially Central Florida. Um, uh, when you might, I have a picture in my office of the uh, Lake Eola from across the lake with 4,000 people standing at Lake Eola uh, in that initial Tea Party. It was, it was impressive enough to me that it's a foundation stone for a turning point in this nation and in this community. So it, it, it is important that the Tea Party community here is, um, is respected for being a movement, not a political party, as some people try to take it over with a political party name. We're not a political party. We're a movement of, of individuals and activists that have gotten off the couch and said enough is enough. We're ready to move forward. We want to make sure our nation is back on the foundational values it was, it was established on. So, that's my statement. I, I want you to know that we are not the Florida Tea Party party, third party. We are a Tea Party movement of individuals who care about this nation and are fighting for the uh, restoration of what this nation needs to be. Thank you. Uh, Co-founder of the West Orlando Tea Party. The Tea Party movement stands for three basic principles and values. Limited constitutional government, fiscal responsibility and accountability, and free market private sector solutions. Sandy Adams is supported by the Tea Party movement in Central Florida and especially West Orlando Tea Party, of which uh, 
uh, the co-founders, uh, Ron and Laura McCoy are here with me, stand behind Sandy Adams because she, in fact, uh, adheres to and supports those principles and values. It is about the principles and values for us. Uh, we don't really care about what others who can go out and buy a URL, buy a name, and, uh, and represent themselves as uh, Tea Party. We really don't care what they have to do or say because they're not the boots on the ground, they're not the folks doing the heavy lifting, they're not the folks involved in the uh, unpaid volunteer efforts that have been going on now for uh, almost four years. So we want to just be very clear that the Tea Party movement of Central Florida, represented by leaders here today, stand behind and support 100% Sandy Adams for Congress. And the last speaker will be Nan Wagner of the East Side Orlando Tea Party, a good cohort and valued activist. I'm Nan Parada Wagner. It's actually East Side Tea Party. Um, I sit on the advisory board. We're a group of individuals. You've heard why we're here today. I personally want to thank the media who are here today covering this new, this press conference, and to the rest of the media, you're complicit in this mess. If you had spent just five minutes on the web looking up who, going to the um, the Department of State for Florida. Division of Elections, you would find out who the Tea Party political party of Florida is. You would also recognize that they have been fined by the, um, the Department of State for failing to file required election documents. You would, and it, all you have to do is look at the names, and in May, the Orlando Sentinel published an article about Doug Getzlow. We know what his connections are. We know he has tried to manipulate the system for going on three plus years now. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, and I want to bring forward one more person, and this is Tim Curtis from Tampa 912, who's been involved in the movement from the beginning, and drove here on a dime's notice because he recognizes how important it is that the Tea Party Network, grassroots uh, network in the state of Florida, all stand together. He's been part of this movement, so I want to bring him forward now, Tim Curtis of Tampa 912. Thank you for this opportunity. Um, it, all of the local leaders are represented here, but let me tell you that what you've heard today stretches across this county, across the city, across this state, up and down, top to bottom, east to west. Those of us who have been working hard, unpaid, and with, with very little fanfare, have seen some successes here of late, and that's why there are those folks who now want to attach themselves to the various successes that have been enjoyed by folks like Ted Cruz and like Scott Walker, those folks who truly do enjoy Tea Party support. And so I came in today as quickly as I could, thank you for letting me arrive just a moment late, to let you all know that we stand behind those folks who will clearly identify themselves with, who have been working with us, have been speaking for us and with us from the start. And today, I'm here to tell you that the Tea Party, the grassroots folks, stand behind those folks. Unlike the ones who've been sitting in Washington for a long time and giving us the same song and dance. It's time for a change. It's time to reject, reelect. It's time to say no to the status quo. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Tim. And I just, I want to reiterate why we're here really is to not only push back on that, but to once again express how much we support Sandy Adams because she does stand with the people. She is a Tea Party person that stands on those three principles and values of fiscal responsibility, loan to government, free markets. I told the story last week, I'm just going to say it again real quick. Georgia, my home state, had a 1% sales tax referendum on the ballot on July 31st. It was a transportation initiative that was going to cost anywhere from eight and a half billion to 19 billion dollars over 10 years. Congressman Micah came to Atlanta to campaign for that sales tax initiative and told Georgians 
that if we wanted federal dollars, that we needed to be ready for them, and the way to be ready was to pass that tax sales tax initiative. Thankfully, the Georgians are smarter than that, and it was voted down almost all across the board. So we, when he is going out to other states campaigning for sales tax increases, that's not representing the citizens. That's representing special interest. And that's exactly what we, the people, are sick and tired of, and we're not going to stand it any. We're not going to put up with it anymore. We are going to get behind true conservatives. It doesn't matter what your seniority is or what position you hold on a committee. If you're not doing the right thing, we don't want you there. And that's exactly why we are standing with Sandy Adams to, for Florida's seventh congressional district, and I believe that tomorrow she's going to be victorious. Not only is Sandy going to be victorious, but we, the people, are going to be victorious. And so I want to ask Sandy to come forward now and thank her for being here. I know she's busy on this last day before primary day, but Sandy, we're happy to stand here with you today. And I want to introduce a fellow freshman. As all of you know, in 2010, 87 Republican freshmen were sent to Washington with one united voice. And that was stop the spending, get the debt under control, and repeal Obamacare. And that's what we've been doing since being there. And one of the fellow members of my freshman class, Congressman Rich Nugent, is here with me today. Thanks, Sandy. I'm one of those guys that couldn't find a bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> well, guess what? You know, as a freshman, uh, I've got served with Sandy. I didn't know Sandy before she got elected to Congress. And neither one of us, obviously, have served there before. And I've never been a legislator. But what I've seen in Washington, D.C. is this, that we have people that have served too long. For those that have been up there 20, 30, 40 years that have forgotten about we the people, about the people that they actually represent. It's not about getting reelected. It's not about a pension. It's about service. And so it was easy to step up and support Sandy. It was easy because of her voting record and because of what she stands for. And so we're all in for Sandy Adams. And God bless you, Sandy. Thank you. citizens of Congressional District 7 know the difference between a real Tea Party movement and a group that has tried to help Alan Grayson stay in office, this will not work. And I would say to my opponent that the distortions, the misrepresentations, the people will see through it. I work for you, and I have said all along, Representative is not a title, it's a job description. And anyone who treats it as a title doesn't deserve it. I look forward to serving for this great community another two years, and I really look forward to being, continuing to be, the voice of the people, not the voice of special interest. Thank you so much. I have a question. The congressman's campaign sent out an email saying they had no contact with this party, they have not sought, accepted, or promoted the endorsement in question. Why would Mr. Gessler, who is behind the mailer, send out something against you? Have you declined to pay him in the past? <laughs> I have never employed Mr. Gessler. You are correct. I have never employed Mr. Gessler. And um, I think there was some screenshots taken, and I think my, uh, my press people could get you a copy of that, of a dialogue between one of my opponents uh, workers and Mr. Getzla. But has he approached you? Has he tried to, to have you pay him? In my very, very first uh, race, he approached me, and when he found out who my consultant was, he walked away very unhappy. Apparently, there had been a disagreement between the two of them. But I'm one of those people, I have integrity. I'm a law enforcement officer. I served this community for over 17 years as a law enforcement officer. I lost a husband in the line of duty death right here in Orange County as a deputy sheriff. My commitment is to the people of this district, Central Florida, and America. So um, I guess 
this is something that the people of the district will have to sit through, like all the other misinformation that is being sent out by my opponent. Anyone else? Thank you so much. You know your way to the restroom. <laughs> I don't think Congressman Mike is needed there anymore. So. 